The new year is here and one of the best ways to wrap up the year behind is to look at some of the most interesting poker stories. So here are the top 10 poker stories of 2022. Number 1. The Million Dollar Bounty The World Series of Poker made a new addition to their list of tournaments in 2020 when they unveiled their Mystery Bounty No Limit Hold'em Tournament. This is a standard bounty tournament with a twist. There will be 100 mystery bounties given out randomly that will have a value between $25,000 and a million dollars. In 2022, this event really had captured the imagination of the poker world and attracted a staggering 14,122 entries. The eventual winner got $750,000 plus bounties, but Matt Glance had walked away with the biggest overall prize despite finishing in 42nd for $20,700 in normal payouts. Matt Glance ducked through a chest full of envelopes and won the million dollar jackpot. Glance, however, did not take home the full seven-figure payday as he disclosed that Sean Deeb and Paul Volp each had 10% of his action in the tournament. The trick, the trick was having Paul Volpe having 10% and Sean Deeb having 10%. The luck of those two was just a matter of time. Glance then wrote on Twitter that he will be giving $5,000 to Justin Lett, a player he delivered a bad beat to on day two to win the mystery bounty. Winning the grand prize was a bit odd for Glance, considering a tweet he sent out just one day earlier criticizing the tournament. Number 2. The Rule of Jungle Man Daniel Cates joined an elite list of poker pros who shipped the $50,000 Poker Players Championship in 2022, but Cates made history being the first poker player to win this title in two successive years. Nobody had ever won this event twice in a row and for some it is considered the toughest and most prestigious event in poker. Jungle Man won $1.45 million and added a second bracelet to his collection. The fact that Cates did it for the second year in a row wearing a fancy Macho Man costume and staying in character the whole time made it even more special. Michael Mizraki still holds the record for the most number of wins as he won this title three times in 2010, 2012, and 2018. Number 3. W Coop Cancelled A DDoS attack forced online poker giant PokerStars to be offline for roughly 18 hours on Sunday and early morning and disrupted one of PokerStars' most important Sundays of the year. The outage resulted in the cancellation of most of the day's tournament slate, including the high-profile main event in Star's long-running WCOOP series. A number of WCOOP events were impacted, including all six No Limit Hold'em and PLO WCOOP main events. Ultimately, play had to be halted and after a break of around 90 minutes, the tournaments were cancelled. All affected players had been compensated in accordance with the Online Poker Sites tournament cancellation policy. The event was rescheduled and took place in November without a hitch but with some sizable overlays of millions of dollars. Number 4. Cheating Allegations the serious charges of cheating against three of game's biggest winners, Bryn Kenny, Ali Mzorovic and Jake Schindler, undoubtedly made for one of the biggest stories of the year. All of it began with a tweet sent by Alex Foxen on April 17th when Foxen accused Ali Mzorovic of using real-time assistance to cheat in online poker games. Foxen also asserted that he had witnessed numerous chip dumps to horses and many suspicious changes in play from people known to be his horses when deep in online MTTs. Chance Cornuth later tweeted out that he had multiple sources who told him that Jake Schindler was also on the GG Poker's ban list of cheaters. Only a few days following the stunning charges made against Schindler and Imzorovic, on April 21st, Martin Zamani claimed that Bryn Kenny ran an online poker cheating operation on GG Poker that includes collusion in satellites, ghosting, and real-time assistance. Unlike Schindler and Imzorovic, Bryn Kenny did address the cheating allegations against him, but he routinely dodged questions and many of his responses were insubstantial to the cheating allegations and the poker fans were not happy. Imzorovic and Schindler have been since banned by GG Poker, the EPT, Triton and PokerGo. Number 5. The Greatest Poker Stream 
Billed as the biggest event in poker history, the Hustler Casino livestream brought together some of internet's biggest names, all of whom are novices at poker and matched them up against some of the best poker players in the world. Famed internet personalities Ninja, Ludwig Agron, Mr. Beast, XQC, Alexandra Botez teamed up with professional poker players Tom Duan, Phil Hellmuth, and Alex Keating. The action was utterly insane and the viewing figures even more so. Over 2 million people have watched the combined streams with around 92,000 concurrent viewers when it actually went down. The game ended with Helmut down $96,000, Botes up almost a half a million and Alex Keating down a staggering $1.1 million. Mr. Beast, Ludwig and Ninja all finished up 6 figures. Number 6. The Garrett Robbie Controversy The most controversial hand of the year also took place in the Hustler Casino livestream between Garrett Adelstein and Robbie Jade Lou. Long story short, Robbie had made an insane hero call with Jack High against Garrett which led him to suspect that Robbie had cheated against him. Robbie was under rigorous investigation by none other than Joey Ingram for many weeks along with the entire poker community. Finally, Hustler Casino did an independent investigation into the hand and found no evidence of cheating on the part of Robbie. The investigation was conducted by cybersecurity firm Bulletproof which specializes in the gaming sector. Garrett Adelstein torched his perfectly excellent reputation in the process and Robbie J. Liu has become something of a poker celebrity. Adelstein doesn't seem to be changing his mind about his accusations of being cheated. His reaction to the findings focused on the security flaws without any mention of the fact that Robbie had been exonerated of all charges. Number 7. The Poker Integrity Council As the cheating allegations came to light and pressure mounted on poker operators to take action, GG Poker has formed a Poker Integrity Council to stop further cheating. The council includes GG Poker's Jason Kuhn and Fedor Holz as well as Andrew Lichtenberger, Seth Davis and Nick Petrangelo. Members of the council will be asked to look into integrity based issues on a case by case basis. The Poker Integrity Council will evaluate hand histories and then decide whether disciplinary action is required once an online poker account is reported for reasons including portable real time assistance usage, ghosting or other unlawful conduct. Following a council decision, a cheater at GG Poker may receive a simple warning, account suspension or a permanent ban from the poker site with money confiscated as punishment. And to make matters worse, for those who have been permanently banned for serious violations, the council is putting together a ban that will apply to all tournament organizers. The World Series of Poker, the World Poker Tour, Triton Poker, Poker After Dark, King's Casino, the Asian Poker Tour and several more tournaments fall under this category. Number 8. Eugene Kachilov's Escape from Ukraine In 2022, the poker community saw the crisis in Ukraine through the eyes of former PokerStars pro Eugene Kachilov who tweeted about leaving the country when the war began. Kachilov had not been particularly active on Twitter in recent years but decided to document his decision to leave Ukraine with his wife. The whole affair read like a really spooky road movie since Kachilov had to worry about exiting a conflict zone as well as dealing with limited resources and probable thieves along the route. After failing to cross the border into Slovakia and Poland on prior occasions, he finally arrived in Hungary two days after beginning his journey. Number 9. Biggest Pot in Online Poker History on February 13th, well-known poker pro Tony G had smashed the world record for the largest poker pot in online poker history by winning a pot of $7.7 .7 million. The poker pro was playing on the crypto-based poker platform called Coin Poker, for which he is an advisor and high stakes regular. The game of PLO was being played at 5k 10k stakes. There were three players at the table, Tony G, Chattahoochee and Hannibal Getya. Each player anteed $2,000 and immediately started raising to grow a pot of $448,000 pre-flop. The flop was a juicy queen ace 10 with two clubs. 
This is bound to create an action flop and hold him, but in PLO, watch out. Chattahoochee checked, Hannibal getcha, bet around $225,000, and Tony G called, and then Chattahoochee folded when the action returned to him. The turn was the eight of hearts, putting two flush draws on the board and an additional straight draw. Hannibal getcha came out firing with a $903,000 bet, and Tony G raised just about all in to about $3.42 million and Hannibal get you called. The river was the four of diamonds, likely inconsequential and the cards were revealed. Tony G had jack king three queen for a flop not straight, Hannibal get you had queen four ace three good for just two pair. He had flopped a monster, top two pair, a nut flush draw and a backdoor wheel draw but couldn't hit any of it. Number 10. WPT Global $1 for a million dollars. Not long after World Poker Tour partnered with WPT Global Online Poker Room and launched a new site, it decided to host one of the biggest tournaments in terms of return of investment that online poker has ever seen. The inaugural WPT Global $1 for a million dollar guaranteed the winner a $100,000 payday which translates to a return of investment of 10 million percent. To cover the guarantee, the tournament would have to have 1 million entrants, making WPT the first poker room to ever put a 7 digit guarantee on a tournament with a buy-in of less than $10. In other words, it was the world's largest guarantee tournament with a micro level buy-in. But 1 million entrants is realistically not possible, so this tournament was designed with a guaranteed overlay of over $900,000. In the end, the player named Zhu Yeye won first place in the inaugural tournament and a $100,000 payday for his efforts.